outside intervention, military intervention, or arming people inside, these have very heavy prices for the society forever to come. This is why I think we have taken a very firm stand on this kind of a, a option. And it's still being entertained by various uh, actors, I think, although uh, member states are very cautious uh, given the few very uh, unsuccessful examples ahead of us of military interventions. It's one thing to intervene and get rid of the villain, quote unquote. It's another thing to build a society to move on again. Which, which of the countries where such uh, military interventions took place is moving on today? Look at Afghanistan, right. Al-Qaeda. <coughs> Uh, uh, Taliban, they said in 2001, had been defeated. So these are not easy issues. And can there be dialogue among people who, where the state is uh, killing its own people? There has to be. We have to find a way. We have to find, if Syria is going to prevail, if Syrian people are going to go back to living together, these hurdles have to be overcome. Peace and justice. I mean, you cannot have one or the other. I'm a great believer in justice. But uh, justice alone does not bring the peace. So I think reconciliation and justice have to come along together. And we, 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 we cannot see any other way but to push for this dialogue.